10 of the best places to visit in the UK in 2022. From the allure of the sunny Costa del Sol to the mystery of the Far East, you wouldn't be blamed for wanting to take a trip out of the UK this year. However, as a country world famous for its history and home to some of the most beautiful cities, towns and villages on the planet, there are countless incredible destinations to visit this year in Britain. So join me as we take a look at 10 of the best places to visit in the UK this year. And if you'd like, leave a comment and let me know which British destination you're thinking of making a trip to in 2022. Number 10. Robin Hood's Bay, North Yorkshire. Peppered with quaint fishing villages nestled between towering cliffs, the Yorkshire coast is one of the most picturesque parts of Britain. Of all its tiny villages, one of the best has to be the spectacular Robin Hood's Bay. A well-known tourist attraction today, this higgledy-piggledy fishing village was once a renowned hive of smuggling. Draped on a steep hill cascading from the cliff tops, you'll find an almost impenetrable maze of unmarked streets and lanes in Robin Hood's Bay, once used by crafty local smugglers to evade capture by the authorities of the day. Look out for the hidden smugglers' tunnels that run from the beach underneath the village, as well as the gorgeous seaside scenery from up on high. Number 9. Thurzo, Caithness. The northernmost town on the island of Great Britain is also really rather underrated. Located on the tip of Scotland, Thurza was until around 700 years ago part of the Norse Empire, owned by earls from Scandinavia. However, the town's Viking heritage is just one part of its captivating history. It's home to an abandoned castle, the ruins of an 800-year-old church, and staggering sea views towards Orkney across the Pentland Firth. Plus, given its position on the extreme northern coast of Great Britain, this is the place where all sorts of northernmost records are broken. Most famously, its train station marking the most northerly point of the UK's legendary rail network. Number 8. Clapham, North Yorkshire. You've probably never heard of Clapham. Not the busy area in South London, but the peaceful, minuscule village in North Yorkshire. A tiny place located in the foothills of the Yorkshire Dales, this village of just a few hundred people is achingly pretty, and about as peaceful as you can imagine. Located off the A65 road that bypasses the village, Clapham is often visited by tourists heading up into the Dales to climb the Three Peaks, or to explore Gaping Gill, Britain's highest waterfall which is located in a terrifying underground cave. Though it has its own railway station on the outskirts of the village, Clapham is a beautifully simple place, with just one pub, one shop, a historic church and a trickling beck crossed by this gorgeous little footbridge. A stroll through Clapham will clear your mind like few other places can. Number 7. St Abbs, Scottish Borders We're sticking with tiny villages for now, and just a few miles north of the English border, you'll find one of the most beautiful places in Scotland, St Abbs. A minute fishing village now popular with holiday homeowners, St Abbs is a rustic, windswept settlement perched on the staggering cliffs of the Berwickshire coast. Accessible by a bus service every two hours or so, it's an enchanting place to visit, and one with some surprising claims to fame. St Abbs' long fishing history is the main draw for many, but the village has seen a surge in tourism since 2019, as it was used as a filming location in the Marvel blockbuster Avengers Endgame, once the highest grossing movie of all time. So, visit for the comic book lore, and stay for the centuries of history and gorgeous views. You certainly won't regret it. Number 6. Norwich, Norfolk One of the biggest appeals of the UK is its long and beautifully preserved medieval heritage. There are many cities which boast riveting reminders of the country's illustrious history, but there are few which are quite as enchanting as Norwich. The largest city in East Anglia, Norwich was once the largest and most powerful city in England after London, and crammed an enormous medieval population into a tiny area surrounded by grand medieval walls. While the walls are now gone, you can still stroll around the cramped, cobbled streets of the city centre, where you'll find enthralling history on every corner. From its enormous cathedral to its imposing castle, you could spend days exploring all that Norwich has to offer. And when you're done, you could stop off in one of the city's seemingly endless supply of pubs. Once upon a time, there were so many in Norwich that the city was said to have a pub for every day of the year. Number 5. Bamburgh, Northumberland. 
If there's one memory that you'll take back with you from Bambra, it's that iconic image of the castle towering over the village's main street. Located on the Northumberland coast, 20 miles south of Berwick, Bambra is a staggeringly beautiful village of just 400 people, but understandably a magnet for visitors looking to experience its incredible history and gorgeous sights. Over 1,000 years ago, Bambra was the capital of the Anglo-Saxon kingdom of Bernicia, and its long history is still on display for all to see. Its castle, still occupied to this day, is the main attraction, but the village is also home to one of the oldest churches in northern England, and one of the most spectacular beaches you'll find in the entire country. Number 4. Whitby, North Yorkshire Heading back down the coast, we find ourselves at possibly the most famous and most picturesque town on the Yorkshire coast, Whitby. World famous for the ruins of its magnificent abbey, which inspired author Bram Stoker and his legendary novel Dracula, Whitby is a stunning seaside town filled with centuries and centuries of history, and today remains one of the most popular towns to visit in the region. Home to its own miles-long beach, higgledy-piggledy streets that look over the haven that is Whitby Harbour, and a blend of atmospheric, narrow medieval lanes and spectacular wide-open seaside views, Whitby is a town that certainly leaves an impression. Plus, if you don't mind queuing with the other visitors, it's also the place where you can sample some of Britain's very best fish and chips. Number 3. Edinburgh, Scotland it's always nice to look at the underrated, hidden gems of the country as potential destinations for a trip this year, but we mustn't forget Britain's spectacular big cities, and there aren't many bigger or better than Edinburgh. The iconic Scottish capital is a cradle of history, with its beautiful old town home to some of the most picturesque streets in the entire world, and riveting nooks and crannies where some of Scotland's greatest historical figures once ventured. There's everything you could want in a big city in Edinburgh, and if you have the chance, take a trip to some of the city's surrounding hills for unbelievable views over the capital, as well as the Firth of Forth and further across Scotland. That being said, the centre of Edinburgh is rather full of inclines anyway, so you'll get some good exercise in as you take in the sights. Number 2. The Holy Island of Lindisfarne, Northumberland Of all the destinations on this list, the Holy Island of Lindisfarne is the hardest to get to. But if you could time it right, then it's a place unlike any other in the UK. Located off the Northumberland coast near to Bamburgh, this tidal island is cut off from mainland Britain for much of the day by the North Sea. However, when the tide drops, a road and an ancient walking route open up in the flats, and people venture their way across to this windswept island. But while the views across Lindisfarne are absolutely beautiful, this is a hugely important place in Britain. A site of religious pilgrimage for many, the Holy Island is home to Lindisfarne Priory, one of the birthplaces of Christianity in England, and home to an action-packed history that included being the first victim of raids by the Vikings. There's just one tiny village on the island, but it has all the amenities you'll need on a day out. On the other side of Lindisfarne stands its spectacular castle, built on top of an extinct volcano, one of the only significantly elevated areas on the island. The Holy Island is only accessible when the tide is out, so good planning is needed to get in and out of Lindisfarne. The road causeway is most popular, but you can also retrace the route that pilgrims took in the medieval era by following a marked path across the sands, but it's vital to complete that walk well before the tide sweeps in. Number 1. Heptonstall, West Yorkshire Locals of Yorkshire's Calder Valley will know this one, but for many others, Heptonstall is almost like the village that time forgot. Located on top of an excruciatingly steep hill above the hip town of Hebden Bridge, this ancient weaving settlement is probably as close to stepping into a time machine as you can get. A small collection of cobbled, higgledy-piggledy lanes navigate around the houses of medieval weavers, while two pubs, a village museum and a shop are all available to entice visitors. However, being the hidden gem that it is, you'll find that the most captivating sites in Hepton Stall are among its most secluded. The ruins of its nearly 800-year-old parish church stand in the quiet heart of the village and are now wonderfully preserved, allowing you to stroll through the place where locals worshipped for centuries. In its neighbouring churchyard, you'll find the grave of American writer Sylvia Plath, 
which attracts literary fans from across the world. You'll find the world's oldest Methodist church in continuous use behind a row of houses. The steep hill that leads into the village was the site of a surprising battle in the English Civil War. And beside the old village stocks, a friendly horse too. Accessible by either clambering up the hill from Hebden Bridge or by a little bus, Hepton Stall is just off the beaten track, but by no means hidden from view. It's one of the most beautiful villages in England and a paradise of history and picturesque views. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this countdown reminded you, or even introduced you, to some of Britain's most wonderful destinations. And you might even think about visiting them yourself in 2022. Do leave a comment with some of your favourite places to visit in the UK. Many of the smaller places featured in this top 10 were thanks to suggestions from viewers. And I'm always looking for new, exciting places to go and explore. Have a very happy new year!